Okay. Uh, thank you all. So we are Jiva Wireless, and we enable connectivity for the next billion devices and in applications that were previously not feasible. So the biggest challenge for devices that are connected to the internet is wireless connectivity. Now let's take the example of the most famous wireless protocols that we use. It's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. If, even the lowest power Wi-Fi or Bluetooth radios would actually drain your batteries. This happens to us all the time with our cell phones. In addition to that, the biggest challenge with radio is also the fact that they're really big and they're really, they're really expensive. You're talking about three to five dollars of cost for the most simple and most inexpensive Wi-Fi or Bluetooth chip. We at Jiva are solving this problem. Our value proposition is low power, really cheap, and really form, very small form factor solutions. So to give you an example of kind of systems that you're talking about, on the left are an example of devices that exist nowadays in the market. On the top, we have a long range home automation sensor. At the bottom, we have a Amazon dash button. As, as you can see, both these devices actually re require a pretty big and bulky battery. What Jiva is pro proposing is that with our technology, we can convert these devices into something tho that look like these. So we're talking about devices which would be size of a thumbnail, can use really, really tiny, small batteries, can use flexible antennas, and basically build devices which can be embedded into any object that you can think of and becomes ubiquitous, and you would never have to think about connectivity um, at all. So our secret sauce is a technology that, that, that is called Ambient Backscatter, which was developed at the University of Washington here in this building. So the way I like to explain this technology is by using light. So the way typical radios, be it Wi-Fi or uh, cellular radios work is you can think of it like a light. So if I want to talk to you guys, I can use a flashlight and turn it on and off. And that way you can figure out whether I'm transmitting a bit one, which is light on, or bit zero, which is light off. But as you can imagine, generating that light consumes a lot of power, is really expensive and really big solution. What at Jiva we do is something called as reflect, uh, it's called backscatter or reflections. So rather than using a flashlight, we can use a mirror and reflect ambient light, and you can look at that reflections and figure out what we are trying to communicate. And it turns out using a mirror is, really is, is a really tiny solution, it's really cheap, and it's about 1,000 to 10,000 times lower power. So we at Jiva has basically brought in this concept to any wireless technology that you can think of. On the left, I have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LoRa, Zigbee, any protocol you can think of. We can, we can use our ambient backscatter technology and convert that to a Jiva Wi-Fi, Jiva Bluetooth solution, which would be much lower power. We're talking about 1,000 to 10,000 times lower power, really small, and a solution that would cost maybe 10 cents to 25 cents. And the cool thing here is that all this technology is backward compatible. So our, our protocol, you can read from your existing cell phones and smartphones, but at the same time can be extremely low power and really cheap. So right now we are building two solutions. Our first one is a really scalable home hole con connected solution. So you can put sensors all over your house and we can communicate with them all in everywhere in the house at a fraction of the cost and size of existing solutions. So now you can think about all the sensors that you have and transform that into stickers that you can stick anywhere. In addition to that, we are also building a Bluetooth-based solution. So your disposable medical devices can now talk, talk to your phones at extremely low power and really cheap solutions. So if you want to track your pill, pill bottle, you can stick a tag for 25 cents and keep, keep a track of how people are using those devices. So one of the things that we do at Jiva is to build solution right from a silicon solution that's hardware, right all the way to the stack, building on the networking layer and the Mac protocol. So Jiva was fo uh, founded by five folks from U University of Washington CSNE department, and we recently hired three people, and we have still more open position for both hardware, firm, firm, firmware, and em embedded folks. And then finally, uh, we just raised our last funding round, and we are looking to do a C C Series A early next year. Thank you.
Questions? So uh, obviously, I can't talk about specific can, can names. Can you repeat the question in case people didn't yes. hear it? So the question is, who is our customers? So basically, we are a B2B company. So we build connectivity solution for other companies to uh, build into integrate into their products. So think think about all the big players in the market who build wireless solutions like your Amazons, Google, Qualcomm, uh, Apple. So all these companies would be our potential customers. Yeah, so the light was an analogy, so the light is an intuitive way of understanding it, but what we do is exactly do everything in the, two, uh, in the RF domain. So if you're talking about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, that operates with RF signals. So we can reflect existing RF signals by using like a switch. So switch is your analogy for mirror. So we do everything in silicon, and it's perfectly compatible with everything else that's out there in the market. So the question is, can, can we use simulation? So yeah, so basically all our work is based on, we, we, we start with a concept, we do simulation based on standard uh, circuit models using MATLAB, ADS, Cadence, and all, all that stuff. So, so we have done all that, and we do study propagation, wireless propagation. So it, it's basically fundamental Maxwell's equation that we start with, with, uh, with electronic cir circuits and build solutions, which are Basically, it's a new way of thinking about doing communication. So we replace radios with backscatter solution. One more question. Sorry? Uh, so in total, we have raised $3 million in, uh, uh, in venture-backed funding, and we got uh, about a million from NSF in phase one and phase two SBIR grants. Thank you. Thank you.